we made it to Seville. We did. Can you believe it? <laughs> Not really. No, I mean, it was gale force winds, literally. It was, I think they were up to 122 miles an hour. Yes. Which, um, Getting onto the plane, I was holding on to Jake and he was holding on to me. We were trying not to blow away. But we've woken up to a beautiful sunny day. And I just can't believe our luck. <laughs> I can't either. We're in Spain. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We are. And it's, uh, I mean, 26 degrees today, and it's February. And I know. It is such a sun spot, isn't it? Such it is. Winter cool. sun. It's really hot. I mean, the sunglasses can barely cope with it, actually, it's which is crazy of, for February. Yeah, it? loads of places to stop and soak in the sun, and it's a perfect winter break. It really is. You've got to come and see it. absolutely love it. I do. <laughs> I'm going to show you the river, I'm not sure you can see it. Seville is the perfect winter sun destination. It's a fascinating and beautiful cultural city and the coast is only an hour away. Sitting either side of the huge river Guadalquivir, it has many bridges connecting the neighbourhoods of Seville to the old and new town areas. We walked in across a beautiful bridge from Triana and headed into the old town. The modern trams gleam in stark contrast with the ancient buildings. Seville Cathedral dates back to the 1500s. We've gone to Amor Amarino. Amarino. Yes. It's, it's themed with cupids and things. It's very sweet. It is. So what did so, you go for? So my then? tasting first, am I? Yeah, lift it up. I can't see what you got. Oh, okay. So oh, I've gone for the chocolate. Nice. And uh, what was the other one? Oh, it was like a caramel. It sorts, was a caramel. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Is it really good? Mm. And they've got chocolate. vegan options as well. A lovely selection. I'm going to so, try the other one. Mmm, they're both really good. Really good. Not cheap, yeah. it was it? It was about it was, five euros. It was four seventy, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, for a so pot. Just but, about four but, pounds, isn't yeah, it? Yes, but there was there was one that was slightly cheaper at three seventy for one scoop on a cone. It was. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it might be worth it. So I've gone for the caramel, just a straight caramel. I'm a bit jealous of Dan's actually. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Mine does look good. It's very creamy. It's very nice. Do you want to try the chocolate? I'm going to try yours in a minute. Are you? Oh wow. Yeah, that, is that so chocolate is amazing, amazing isn't it? Yeah. So I recommend this place. A lovely lady in there as well. Definitely. <laughs> it's easy to be mesmerised by the stunning architecture unfolding at every turn, rising up against azure blue skies as you walk and explore, warmed by the sun with the scent of oranges drifting by. It's a pedestrian friendly city with plenty of places to sit and watch the world go by as well as parks to explore.
the bliss of having a meal at the restaurants lining the streets or hunting for a treasure to take home never gets old. It's the sort of place it's a delight to get lost in, making new discoveries as you go. We are, aren't we? Yeah, we, yeah. We weren't adventurous enough to go for Spanish yeah, food, were we? Yeah, we were. So, yeah. um, pizza and Jake loves pasta. So. Very cheesy I'm experience. It. it is a very cheesy experience, isn't it? Yes. Right, you're gonna try it. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> is it hot? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Is that good? <laughs> it looks good. Mm. Really cheesy. <laughs> so we've just come out of the We Love Pizza. Is that the one? We Love Italy. We Love Italy. We love Italy. Yes. We do. we do love Italy. We we're, do. we're in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. It's really good. Best pizza I've had for a very long time. It genuinely time. was, yeah. yeah so it was pasta was brilliant. So yeah. It was make most, sure you go. most cheesy pizza I've ever had, I think. It's lovely. And good value. Yes. It was about uh, 12 euros for two. It was. Two, two to share a pizza. It was. It, it was, was great. perfectly adequate to uh, have one oh, between us, filling, wasn't it? Perfect, wow. Filling for lunch, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard if you come through this archway, you find a cloistered nunnery that sells sweets, local sweets, and you don't get any contact with them as a little wooden turnstile. So we're going to have a look and see. Unfortunately, it seems to be a shop now, and we found it quite expensive, but hopefully it's for a good cause. So just when you think you've found every last nook and cranny of Seville, We've followed some signposts to waterways. Is that what it was called, Dan? The waterways? It is. Yeah? And I believe it's the old Jewish quarters, yet again segregated within their own city. Um, I think that's what it was. But it's really, really narrow alleyways. It's quite interesting to see. What are you doing, pigeons? Do you recommend it? Is it a nice shop? We stumbled across my favourite little square in Seville, nestled under orange trees with beautiful tiled benches. I could easily while away some happy hours here. Join us on a beautiful adventure around Seville. Subscribe so you don't miss a thing. In this brand new series, we're exploring this exquisite winter sun destination with vlogs featuring the Plaza de España, Triana district including the Seville Tower, the real Alcazar palaces and gardens, the giant mushroom of the Metropole Parasol, Dan climbs the Tour de Oro, exploring Cadiz and much more.